this is the first week of their Construct XR program and the first week of the Digitech project, which is the first one in the series. Tomorrow morning, we are going to see if they are contractor on site. So today I received the up-to-date structural engineer's drawing, which is there, not a drawing, a 3D model. That's an IFC file, which on this computer has gone into SketchUp. Uh, but I'm gonna try and load the IFC file straight into the whole lens. So um, this is the XR10. Got two of these babies, plus two standard hollow lenses. These, this is what I'm taking to see their main contractor, RG Carter, tomorrow and let them have a have a go and yeah, just see what their reactions are and um, I'm just now going to try and uh, get the IFC file into look at that, it's like a it's like an elegant, elegant jellyfish <laughs> a structural jellyfish but um, you can see how this is going to become so useful in team meetings. Um, we're going to look at um, look at sequences later in the weeks ahead, which will allow me to build up um, build up layers of structure so that's what people can work out works in team meetings. So this is the model I'm going to show the Carter team tomorrow on site. Off to site with the eggs, protective egg cases for the XR10s. Carters today on site. I think one of the main points that came back was the washing out of the holograms a bit in daylight which um, wasn't a major issue but I think the the XR10s it, it's definitely a problem with the normal uh, holo lenses. The XR10s have a, a, a tint already included which really does help and you know, max out the brightness setting on the headset. But I think next week we're going to look at incorporating some additional um, static window film, tinted window film, which is an unofficial hack advised by Microsoft. This is true. I shall, uh, I bought it from, bought it from Amazon. So it's just like a tinted a static film. And... Um, this idea was actually given to me, not by Microsoft, but by uh, local company Product Solutions, who are really great guys. I was put in contact with them by Edbox Studios. But yeah, pretty obvious when you think about it, but it works really well and the film just comes on and off, so you just cut it into size. So we're gonna put those over the XR10s uh, next week and see and, and further, further improve the contrast. What else? Obviously, some comments about the weight of the headset, but I think you get used to that. I mean, the immediate reaction from the guys on site was to look at a chin strap, but I'm not sure how that works with site regulations, so we're going to have to look into that. Uh, maybe it's just about making sure the headsets are fitted properly, uh, nice and tightly and snugly, and just so you get used to it. They are quite balanced, balanced quite well, the XR10s front and back. So yeah, so that was a little bit of feedback. What else? Um, next week we're gonna get the structural engineers model or possibly the structural uh, fabricator model, which has all of the uh, joint details uh, to locate, uh, we will locate the full scale um, structural, structural 3D model on site prior to the steel coming. So that's gonna be great next week or maybe the end of this week. We're also gonna set up our first meeting to talk about the outreach with the students with the construction uh, course there which will be good to get going on with Ed 
use my contact at Carter's. So yeah, that's some initial, initial nuggets of feedback, which is already really, really useful.